um, welcome back for this uh, this episode of our workout demo. Uh, today we have Aisha, and we are going to go through a bunch of different exercises. So right now we are going to do um, kettlebell swing. We're going to do 10, uh, 10 repetitions of everything today. Um, actually, if you want to put this down first, we'll do a one minute walk up, uh, walking warm up. So um, just kind of walking up in place, try to get our bodies warmed up. Um, as always, just my general disclaimer, if you um, are new to exercise or have any health conditions, just check in with your provider before you start any new exercise routine um, and make sure that you're safe. If it hurts, um, please stop doing the exercise, hold off, you can start doing the next one with us if it feels all right. Um, all right. Feel about ready? I'm ready. All right, so we're gonna start out with kettlebell swing. So I'm gonna use a band. Aisha's gonna use a um, dumbbell, so we don't actually have a kettlebell. But if you have a band, you can step on both ends and hold the middle and use it kind of like a kettlebell. And uh, we'll do 10 here real quick. So two, one, two. You really wanna get your hips moving forward. Three, four, five, and keep your chest up, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. And our next exercise is bridges. So we're going to get on the ground here. And you got enough space over there. Okay. You can go this one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, you can go that way. I want to go this one. This one? You can go that okay. way. All right. So we're going to keep our knees and feet uh, shoulder width apart, lay on our back and pop our hips on. And come up and hold and then come back down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like you walk fast. <laughs> eight, <laughs> nine, and ten. All right. Uh, I'm gonna get up on the camera. <laughs> If you ever want to make those ones harder, you can use just uh, one leg uh, to lift up your, your weight to um, a little harder. So next, we're going to do a partner row and a partner chest press. You start. So if you want to hold the back, and I'm going to hold the both ends of the band, and I'm just going to come straight back. And you want to squeeze with the shoulder blade. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice, slow, controlled movements. All right, go ahead. One. Did I raise you? Too bad. Is Three. it good or bad? That's good. <laughs> Four. Y'all know that she couldn't raise me. <laughs> Um, chest press. So if you want to hold the metal again. So grab both ends of it. Um, you can either come up over your arms or come underneath. Just make sure your elbows are staying high. I'm going to go over. I think Aisha is going to do under. But we'll do one, two, and make sure you don't let the bands pull you back. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Alright. Like yep, just like that. And then I'll come back this way. <laughs> and two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and one more, ten. Nice. All right. Next we have what we call jackknives. So this is like a one-legged knee up. Um, so we're going to get back on the ground. And if you again want to make this harder, 
you can take a weight and use the weight in your hands to go up towards your foot. I'll go over here. So we'll do our right leg first, and we're going to do 10 each time. So go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. All right. I'm going to go on my side because my legs fit. You're good. If you notice back here, Aisha's got a, uh, she's got her bottom leg on the ground, which is totally fine. If you want to make it easier, you can keep that on the ground. So, one, two, three, four, five. So we're working those side oblique muscles. So we're going to do 10. Aisha's going to hold it um, for me, and then she's going to do hers. So got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Nice, slow, controlled movements. All right. Go ahead. One, two, beautiful. Three, four. Is there a benefit to being on your knees? Five, there is not. It just kind of helps focus on that core, so that might be the only other thing. Um, just to keep Seven. you focusing on the core versus trying to use your leg muscles. I'm hoping you're still counting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to switch sides and work our other side of our own weight. Give me that in. And I'll go ahead and go. You need a tie in Yep. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. step-down planks. So if you've seen people do this with um, the floor where you're in a regular plank and then you go down to your elbows, we're going to do that against the wall. So I'm going to move some of this stuff out of our way. We can go side by side here. <laughs> and we're just going to incline, keep our core nice and tight. So how do you know how far back to go though? So go to a comfortable position. Uh, distance for yourself. So like you want to make sure you can still go down to your elbows and maintain your core. Okay. But if it feels like it's too much and you feel like you're having a hard time. Correct. You don't okay. want your back to dip. So if you need to move your foot feet a little farther forward, that's fine. It also is going to make it a little easier the closer you are to the wall. Okay. So is there a way that if I don't come closer, I can prevent my back from dipping? 
Um, yeah, yeah. So make sure you're squeezing your stomach in as much as you can. Okay. And that'll help pull, keep yourself from zipping too much. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do ten times up and down. So go down one. Up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So we're going to pick back up the weights. All right. And just do regular bicep curls, keeping your elbows close to your body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. And don't forget, you can also use a band on that one with the band going underneath your feet, grabbing either side of the band. So our last exercise, tricep extension. Take your weight. We're going to hold it with both hands. And keeping our elbows pointed forward, we're going to do tricep extension. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And as you do those ones, the tendency is going to be to let your elbows flare out. You want to try to keep them in as she much as possible. about me, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> My elbows flared, so that's what we want. Yeah, so you want to keep your, as long as it's within your range of motion. So if it's something where you need to open it up so you're not hitting your head, please do that. But yeah, um, that's just showing we have some tightness in the triceps. If it's not able to stay in. So something to work on stretching. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful time. Yes. Um, so that is everything for today. Um, but just a kind of quick final note, if you have, um, you have a band but you don't have a partner, you can actually use the hinges in your door to put the band through the hinge on either side and then close the door, uh, please without squinching your fingers. But um, That'll provide that resistance on the band so you can pull this way or do your chest press um, and do a lot of different exercises that way too. But thanks for joining us. Thank you. And you guys have a great day. Bye.